Hi, Phoebe. How are you? I hear that you haven't been feeling well lately. And the situation with the party, I really wanted you to come, but uh, you're not, not of as of to, to age right now. So uh, that's too bad. I'm sorry about that. But uh, I will be sending my album. I have signed an autograph album for you. And um, I will be sending it over to you. But the next time I'm in concert here or in concert with my brothers or my sons, I will be sure to invite you to come check it out. Look forward to meeting you too as well. And stay strong. God bless you. And remember, the world loves you. Please do not forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload next. Tito Jackson, one of the founding members of the legendary Jackson 5, has passed away at the age of 70, leaving behind a profound legacy in the world of music. Born as Toriano Adderill, Tito, Jackson on October 15, 1953, he was an integral part of a family band that not only redefined pop music but also paved the way for African-American artists in mainstream entertainment. His life, career, and contribution to the Jackson 5, and later as a solo artist, created a lasting imprint on generations of music lovers. A humble beginning. Tito Jackson was born in Gary, Indiana, the third of nine children to Catherine and Joseph Jackson. From an early age, the Jackson household was immersed in music. Their father, Joseph, a former boxer and steel mill worker, was determined to keep his children away from the dangerous streets of Gary. Instead, he introduced them to the world of music, molding their talents into a unique and cohesive family unit that would go on to achieve international stardom. Tito's love for music began when he picked up his father's guitar. After a bit of sneaking around in secret practice, he managed to master the instrument. When his father caught him playing, rather than being upset, Joseph realized Tito's potential. He then decided to invest in proper instruments and formed a group with Tito and his younger brothers, Jackie and Jermaine. Soon, Michael and Marlon would join, solidifying the lineup that would later become the Jackson 5. The Jackson 5's Meteoric Rise As the Jackson 5 began performing locally, it was clear that they were no ordinary group of siblings. Their synchronized dance moves, harmonized vocals, and infectious stage presence made them stand out from the local talent. Tito, though often quieter than his brothers, contributed greatly with his guitar skills and background vocals, supporting the energy and charisma of the group's frontman, Michael Jackson. In 1968, the Jackson 5 caught the eye of Motown founder Barry Gordy. The group was signed to the label, and under Gordy's guidance, they would soon become a global sensation. Hits like, I Want You Back, ABC, and I'll Be There, catapulted the Jackson 5 to superstardom. While much of the spotlight focused on Michael, Tito remained a steady and crucial part of the band, delivering solid performances on guitar and helping to shape the group's sound. Despite not being the most vocally prominent member, Tito was the heart of the group in many ways. His consistency, discipline, and dedication to music played a vital role in keeping the Jackson 5's momentum going. Throughout the late 1960s and early 1970s, the band enjoyed immense success, becoming one of the first African-American acts to break into the mainstream music scene and helping to diversify the face of pop music. The Struggles and Transformation As with many bands, the success of the Jackson 5 came with challenges. The brothers eventually left Motown in 1975 after disputes over creative control and signed with Epic Records, rebranding themselves as The Jacksons. This move allowed them more artistic freedom, and Tito, alongside his brothers, became more involved in songwriting and production. However, the departure of Michael Jackson from the group in the late 1970s marked the beginning of a new chapter. Tito, ever the family man, stayed loyal to his brothers and continued to perform with the Jacksons even as his younger sibling pursued what would become one of the most iconic solo careers in history. The Jacksons would go on to release several albums, 
though they would never quite recapture the lightning-in-a-bottle success of their earlier years. Through it all, Tito remained a supportive brother, despite the internal pressures that sometimes came with such a famous family. He watched as his siblings navigated their own paths, from Michael's stratospheric rise to solo fame to Janet Jackson's impressive career as a pop icon. Tito's focus was always on music, family, and finding balance in a world that often seemed tumultuous for the Jackson clan. A solo career and a lasting legacy. Though Tito Jackson had long been content playing guitar and supporting his brothers, the music within him could not be contained forever. In 2003, Tito made his solo debut, a long-awaited moment for fans who had followed him since the Jackson Five Days. His debut solo album, I Gotta Play, showcased his versatility, combining blues, rock, and pop influences. Tito's passion for the blues had always been present, and as a solo artist, he allowed himself the freedom to explore that genre. It was a departure from the pop sound that had made the Jackson 5 famous, but it resonated with Tito on a personal level. His solo career, though more modest than that of some of his siblings, gave him the space to express his individual artistry. Despite the shadow of the Jackson 5 success and his brother Michael's untouchable legacy, Tito's contribution to music cannot be underestimated. He was a stalwart of the family, the unshakable rhythm that held the Jackson sound together for decades. His guitar work, often understated but always solid, was the backbone of many of their greatest hits. Personal Life and Beyond Tito Jackson's life was not just defined by music, but also by his role as a father and family man. He was married to Dolores, D.D. D. Martes from 1972 until their separation in 1988, and they had three sons, Taj, Terrell, and T.J. His sons would go on to form the music group 3T, continuing the Jackson family legacy in the next generation. In addition to his family, Tito was known for his philanthropic efforts. He dedicated much of his time to supporting various charities, including those related to music education, children's hospitals, and cancer research. Despite the fame and fortune, Tito always remained grounded, often speaking about the importance of giving back to the community and staying connected to his roots. Tito Jackson, Jackson 5 icon, cause of death. The entertainment industry was shaken by the news of Tito Jackson's death at the age of 70. The elder brother of Michael Jackson and a key member of the Jackson 5, Tito died while traveling from New Mexico to Oklahoma, as confirmed by a former family manager to Entertainment Tonight. The cause of death is suspected to be a heart attack, though official statements from the police or family have not yet been made. A Quiet Departure On September 12, 2024, the world lost Tito Jackson at the age of 70. The news came as a shock to fans and the music industry alike, though Tito had long maintained a relatively private life compared to some of his siblings. His passing marks the end of an era, but his influence will live on through the music of the Jackson 5 and his solo work. In death, Tito Jackson will be remembered not just for his role in one of the most famous musical families of all time, but also for his personal contributions to the world of music. He was the quiet force, the steady hand, and the unsung hero who helped shape the sound of a generation. While his brothers may have often stood in the spotlight, Tito's heart and soul were always in the music, and that is where his legacy will forever endure. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to daily updates and never miss a video.